Okay, so this is a rough demo with the TouchScape table. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things today, including our SDK. But first, we're going to show you um, the Windows interaction. So, we're using for this the Multi Touch Vista uh, driver, which basically converts all the input and output from um, T Beta into Windows commands. And we'll just shrink these down. <coughs> and this basically allows us to interact with Windows just like we were using the mouse, so you can select things, move them around, just like you would normally. Um, you can actually interact with the entire system, so the start file and everything, so we'll throw a bit of music on. Turn it down a little bit, actually. Uh, Windows has nicely provided us with a keyboard, so we can interact with the websites as well, so I'll do a little bit of a search here. You may notice that I'm actually just searching for our own website, it's not shameful promotion. It is our video after all. So just like a normal Windows PC, we've got everything from websites to Flash, um, a bit of Chrome going on there. Uh, just get rid of this. Uh, one really cool feature about Windows 7 is that it allows you to do connect scrolling um, through all your menus, which is just a nice little feature. Okay, so this is one of the lobbies that we've got for the TouchScape SDK. Um, essentially every marker that we've got on the screen represents a application that can be launched and um, the lights are really just for show and just to appear they'll actually track to your fingers as we go. When you want to launch an application you just select the one that you want, give it a tap and it will launch it. Um, this lobby in all our SDK is written in C++ with the, uh, using Ogre for DirectX or OpenGL rendering. Um, so anyone at the minute who wants to write an application for us can use those languages and interface really easily. Uh, we then have this uh, panel system, which is what we actually use to display most of our applications. So this is a little simple spheres game, which just basically shows you the gist of what we do. Um, so this is quite a simple puzzle. You can activate the panel and move the game around. But then you can also move the panel itself. and It's got rudimentary physics, so it will slide when you let go. You can resize it. Uh, you can rotate it. Um, you can even turn it full screen. Um, full screen works just like it does in normal screen, except obviously you've got a much prettier view. The whole system, because it's written in Ogre and, S uh, Ogre and DirectX, <coughs> can actually use full 3D um, and we've got a pretty high power graphics card and processor in this machine so you can write pretty much any application for that. Uh, we'll just close this down. So as I said, this is uh, our basically our launch pad, so anyone who writes an application you, uh, for our SDK, they'll appear in this, so anyone who comes to the table can pick the application they want to launch. The old lobby was actually uh, a nice little water demo. Uh, which we've now retired, but it kind of gives a really nice, a really nice feel of how the system works. Um, so when it launches up, you I mean, it's a fully multi-touch system, so you get all the touches all the way across the screen. Uh, and this was made just using a, a simple mesh that you basically indent, a, you indent one of the vertices downwards, and then it ripples across by interpolating all the points beside it. But um, it just gives a really nice, really nice look at how the table actually works.